What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Finally, I'm going to be opening up a 2023-24 Series 1 Hobby Box. I've been really excited and patiently waiting to open this up on the channel because they reconfigured the whole box. So there is 12 packs per box instead of the usual 24 and there's 12 cards per pack instead of the usual 8 and on average there's going to be three inserts per pack instead of one insert per pack so i'm really excited for this um usually i don't get hobby boxes you probably have never seen me open up hobby boxes often i've only opened up one hobby box on the channel uh, and i was really disappointed um that was an sp authentics hobby box because i didn't get the um future watch auto which is supposed to be one per box so I did have to contact Upper Deck for that, but we're going to be opening these, these up right now. Hopefully we have better luck with this pack here, uh, with this hobby pack. Look at this. They just look phenomenal. So we're going to be moving this over here, kind of out of camera. And we're going to be opening up the first pack of the new configuration for 2023-24 Series 1. I'm really excited, let's just dive right in. So first look, obviously I'm gonna go for a complete base set, so let's look at the base cards first. Uh, first impression, you do have the team logo here in the foil, which is nice, you have upper deck in the corner. I'm just glad they brought the team logo back on the cards, it looks really cool. The team player, it looks very complete, uh, crisp. I like the line work, I'm just gonna look at the next couple too. Uh, and yep, the team color is in kind of the bottom of it. So that's really cool. So I'm not sure where the inserts are, but I do see some here. So what are we? One, two, three, four cards in, and we do have the first inserts. And it is a rookie retrospective for Jonathan Burgreen. Probably butchered the name. There is a jersey card variants, which would be awesome to get. And I do like that it's a nice foil of the team logo as well for this card. Next one here. Oh, we did get the one I really wanted. The Upper Deck Portrait of McDavid, which he has the crown. He looks like a king. That just looks awesome. That looks so cool. So we're going to put the first insert right here. And we did get a Young Guns. This is a looking a special one. So this is Wyatt Crazer. And I'm not sure, uh, this is the first look at the product for me, but comment down below what you guys think. I don't know if this is some kind of silver, I want to say burst by the look of it, uh, but that looks really cool. I don't think all the base cards, or sorry, all the rookie cards look like that. So that's a really special Young Guns. So first pack, we did get some pretty cool cards, and the base cards look phenomenal. I like that retro one there. So definitely I'm going for a complete base set for this. But hopefully we get a ton of inserts. Three inserts per pack is amazing. So that's why they cut the amount of packs in half. I know people were disappointed in, but still really cool. Next one here, one, two, three. And we do have a Star Surge. This is a rainbow card. First time seeing one of these. It's hard to focus because of the foil. But Matthew Knees, probably butchered that. Oh, the next one just kind of slid down on me. We do have a debut date, so they did return that for Cole Gutman. And this is what the regular Young Guns work. Just a classic uh, Young Guns portrait of the player with the uh, on-ice background, which is awesome. So the other one is a different one as well, or a different version, the foil one here. We do have a checklist. Uh, we do have the rest as base, so... So far, we have been getting the three per pack uh, for the inserts. I'm really happy that by the sounds of it, that means there's not going to be any packs that are all base cards in the pack, which I hated getting those. And it's more fun with the inserts, so getting more inserts per pack just sounds awesome here. We do have a David Pasternak uh, special edition foil card. They really like the foil cards this year. That's three different foil cards in a row. Uh, we do have Rookie Retrospective for Jack Quinn, which is really cool. Again, not the Jersey Retrospective, but still really cool. And we have Spencer Stastny uh, Young Guns. For some reason it's not focusing, but I'm just going to put it here. And double check, the rest are all base, 
which I'm a fan of. Fourth pack in, third of the way there, I guess. One, two, three. So we have, oh, four, five, so different uh, layouts. We do have the 200 by 85 for Brady Kachuk. Another new insert. We do have a superstar honor roll for Johnny Goudreau, which I think those look better than last year's. And we do have an upper deck canvas for Jack Gensel. Probably butchered that. It's going to put the canvas cards here, and the rest are all base in the pack. Next pack here. We have a special edition for Eric Carlson. I find the foil ones are harder to focus for some reason on my camera now. We do have a Teacher's Pets for Philip Gustafson. I'm really looking for his Young Guns now. I really want it. And we do have another Young Guns for, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name. And the rest, just to confirm, are all base. This one's upside down. We have a Blue Dazzlers for Darcy Cumper. I think they changed the logo for the Dazzlers, but that looks really cool. Let's put the Dazzlers here and it's upside down again. William Carrier, Teacher's Pets. And we do have an Upper Deck Portraits. I liked McDavid's better. It's still kind of cool, but nothing beats McDavid's here dressed like the king. Getting to the bottom of it, we do have, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name, but that is a really, really nice card. Uh, we do have a debut date for Ottawa Senators, Ridley Gregg. I do like the Sens, obviously, so that's a nice one for me. Do we have a Young Guns for High Rose, which I actually like him, so that's a really cool one. Well, this one kind of got stuck in the corner. Hopefully there's no damage. Two, three. Ooh, a new one. This is Triple Dimensions Star Zone for Matt Zuccarello. Another new insert. See, they like the foil cards. I'm not complaining at all. I like foil cards. Uh, we do have a 200 by 85 for Jeff Skinner. This one is different. Uh, this one here still has the foil of the rink, but it's gold instead of blue. We do have a Matthew Kessel Young Guns as well. Really nice cards, really clean and crisp. Four packs left. Let's get into it. Of course, I had to literally drop the pack on the floor. Hopefully that means it's a lucky pack. Let's see what we got. Uh, we do have a stat box filler for Matthew Kachuk. First time seeing this product. We do have an honor roll for Bo Horvat. And we do have an upper deck uh, canvas checklist. I didn't even know they did upper deck canvas checklists for Dresdel Ovechkin. That's really cool. That's a lot of canvas cards this year. Holy 90 canvas cards. I don't think I've seen that many before. Still really cool. Put that with the canvas over here. Still really cool. I like that. Three packs left. Let's get into it here. One, two, three, four. Okay, this one's five. Ooh, what is this? What is it? Oh, it's a clear cut. Population counts 1,000. This is David Pasternak of the Bruins. Trying to let it focus here. So as you can see, it is a clear cut. That's really nice. I think the 1,000 means there's 1,000 of these for this specific player. I think I've seen a uh, 50 count as well. We also have the triple dimensions for Austin Matthews, which is really cool. 
And we do have a Young Guns for Dustin Wolf. And the rest are base. Two packs left. We should have received six Young Guns. We have, let's double check here. One, two, three, four, five, six Young Guns plus the special one here. So we already have a lot of Young Guns. We have more Young Guns than you're supposed to get on average per box, which is awesome. So let's see, one, two, three. We have the stat box fillers for Panarin. We do have an honor roll for Mitch Marner. Of course, it doesn't want to focus. There we go. And then we have a canvas card for Jake Allen, which looks phenomenal. We'll put that one upside down. And then we do have the rest base. We have one pack left. A lot of new inserts, I must say. I don't know how I always feel about that. Let's check the last pack here before I give my final thoughts. One, two, three. We do have the 200 by 85 Martin Neckes. We do have the honor roll for Clayton Keller, which I'm a fan of him. We do have an upper deck Young Guns uh, canvas, which is Aiden McDow. So we do have another Young Guns here. Again, I don't know if they count the canvas Young Guns as a Young Guns. But personally, I do, so that means we received eight Young Guns in this box. The rest are all base. So honestly, looking at what we received, some really cool cards, a lot of new inserts. Uh, some of them I think are gonna be unnecessary in my opinion. There's 80 Upper Deck Canvas because we did get the checklist for that. So having, sorry, 90 of them. So having 90 of these, I don't know how many of each of the other ones there are. But that is a lot to get the master set. Stuff like Teacher's Pets uh, and the Stat Leaders. Like this looks really cool. But I don't think they're needed in my opinion. Everything does look cool. I'm really thrilled. This was a great hobby box. We did get 8 Young Guns including this Silver Burst one. We did get the Upper Deck Portrait of Connor McDavid which I'm a huge fan of and we got a bunch of really cool cards so comment down below what you guys thought. Should I get some more of the hobby boxes for series 1 of 2023-24? These are still $150 and there's Connor Bedard uh, kind of Easter egg. It's not his Young Guns, but it's kind of like his first overall draft pick and they toss that card in here. That card is currently selling for around $800. So $150 for the box for a chance to get that card. It's actually pretty good. It's not like they skyrocketed yet, but comment down below what you guys thought. Should I get some more? And I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.